Hello, I am Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CH Certification Program by EC Council, Module Session Hijacking, Section Introduction. Session Hijacking or Cookie Hijacking is the exploitation of a valid session, session key to gain unauthorized access to information or services in a system. It is used to refer to the theft of a cookie used to authenticate a user to the remote server. Cookies used to maintain session for many websites and they can be easily stolen by an attacker using an intermediary computer or with an access to the saved cookies on the victim's system. A cookie or HTTP cookie is a token or a short packet of data passed between communicating programs. The contents are intercepted when the recipient passes the cookie data back to the sender. The cookie is often used like a ticket to identify a particular event or transaction. Example, a cloakroom, you deposit items and take a token. Token is required to take your items back at a later time. If anyone steals your token, they can claim your items by tendering the token. Cookie is a small piece of data sent from a website and stored on the user's computer by the user's browser while user is browsing. Cookies are used for session management, personalization and tracking. An attacker is in between the victim and server. This is man in the middle attack. MITM attack. Attacker sits in between, uses sniffer to watch the conversation to capture session cookie. There are several tools for making MITM attack. Attacker uses the tools after gaining access to LAN as these tools are efficient in LAN environments because they implement extra functionalities like ARP spoofing capabilities that permit the interception of communication between the hosts easily. The man in the browser attack is the same approach as the man in the middle attack but in this case a Trojan horse is used to intercept and manipulate the conversations between the browser and its security mechanisms. Sniffing or modifying transactions in the browser is done, still displaying back the user's intended transaction after capturing financial or sensitive info. Attack methods are browser help objects, BHO, extensions, API hooking, and JavaScript. Session token is compromised in different ways. Predictable session token, session sniffing, man in the middle attack, man in the browser attack, and client side attacks. Session hijacking methods. We have four methods to conduct a session hijack. Session fixation. This attack is to attempt to exploit the vulnerability of a system that allows one person to fixate another person's session identifier. Most session fixation attacks are web based and most rely on session identifiers being a session side jacking. The attacker uses packet sniffer to read the network traffic between two parties to steal the session cookie. Many websites use SSL encryption for login pages to prevent attackers from seeing the password. But they do not use encryption for the rest of the site once authenticated. This allows attacker to intercept all the data that is submitted to the server or web pages viewed by the client. Since this data includes a session cookie, it allows him to impersonate the victim even if the password itself is not compromised. Unsecured Wi-Fi hotspots are particularly vulnerable to this attack. In cross-site scripting that is XSS, the attacker tricks the user to run some software code that is treated as trustworthy as it appears to belong to the server. This allows the attacker to obtain a copy of the cookie and perform other operations. Malware are unwanted programs. They use browser hijacking to steal browser's cookie files and then perform actions like installing apps. This is without user's knowledge. An attacker with physical access can simply attempt to steal the session key by obtaining the file or memory contents of the appropriate part of the user's computer or server. These are some of the popular session hijacking tools. We are going to cover these tools in the coming sessions. Thanks for watching.